Hey guys, before I get into this video, please check the forms if you don't want to hear me talk about this stuff and you just want to see it for yourself. Okay, guys, Planetary Annihilation just came out with another new update. I'll be doing a quick video. Hopefully I can do this in one run. I might have to edit this, so stick with me. Again, I'm just going to be reading off like this little page right here. I'll just basically read it to you guys and give my two cents. I'll also link you guys to the forum pages if you don't want to hear me ramble. I know that people don't really care for rambling and you know what? Check out, get on the forums. If you care about this game so much, get on the forums. It's great and the game is updating right now. So let's get started. This build covers a large number of changes. The build notes will cover the highlights, but there will be even more things that aren't discussed. So I might end up hopping onto the forums after this, sounds like. In some cases, drastically in some cases, simple tuning. We have blah, 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 a lot of work. Improved. Oh. Okay, they're improving client performance on a number of fronts. So, you know, the server has been getting quite a bit of work on it. This is great. Hopefully the game will perform better when there are a lot more units. Oh my gosh, it's downloading. Do it. This is great. But it also means new bugs may appear that are graphics card or system specific. And I have my latest drivers. I am make sure, you know... If you guys don't know what drivers are, look up Linus Tech Tips, Quickie. I'm sure he has a video on that or just someone. And make sure that um, all your stuff is up to date. It, games work better. If you're a gamer, you should probably know that. Do a bit of research. It's For me, I love knowing about computer stuff. Please make sure your graphics card is important or up to date, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Is new for Includes unit formations. Awesome. New units. Awesome. New area commands, load, unload with transports, for instance. That's, again, awesome. I don't know what other word to use. My English is terrible. New art across many units and a lot of other changes. I think uh, the gunship, they have their own model up for that. That's just a cool thing. So the area load, unload works with terrestrial transports and the Astraeus. So does that mean a ship will fly from point to point and just load and unload units in that area? I think that's what it means, and that's really cool. And if you guys don't know about the... Yeah, there's a new single transport. It's out of the air factory. It's a single transport unit like the Astraeus, but it's it's low tech. It's... Um, I'll end up playing a game of PA eventually after this video. But yeah, it's a low tech thing. And it, it only has a single unit in it, which I'm a little sketchy on. I've talked on the forums about that a little bit. That hopefully they can have multi-unit transports just to make it more viable. But that'll probably be T2. We'll see what they do. New Steam SDK includes 64 libraries for Linux. Hopefully this will help some Steam integration issues in 64-bit Linux. I would just recommend downloading the Uber Launcher. I've read on the forums that the game performs better when it's used with the launcher. I don't know why. OpenGL, blah, 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 stuff. Alternate fire button, default map, U. This is your Uber cannon. That's why they use the U. You can much more easily use the Uber Cannon now. And the Uber Cannon, if you guys don't have any idea, it's if you guys know Supreme Commander, it's like the overcharge ability where you click on your commander, hit you, and then click attack where you want, and it shoots a big, it's like a supercharged attack, and I think it does AoE. I haven't actually seen it. I've seen art for it. I haven't actually seen it in use, but that's what it was in Subcom, and I'm sure that's what it'll be in this. Lots of changes to the AI. They're making the AI scary. People, I know a lot of people love single player AI. I love AI too. It's great. And if they, the better AI they make, the more awesome. Maybe even you'll have AI in the matchmaking game someone was talking about. Bug fixes. Assist tasks will now end if assist target moves to another celestial body. That's, that's a good fix. Yeah, AI has gotten much smarter and will continue to get smarter. That's just scary. A it's RTS AI, especially for a game this big, where the AI is in control of like all the units at all times. Freaky, but it's awesome. It'll make the single player mode, the Galactic War, really cool. Most instances of units bouncing at the bottom of a teleport gate should be fixed. Great. Area patrol for ground units is working. That's awesome. If you guys didn't watch, if you guys haven't watched any of my gameplay, I've had trouble with that where I I've tried to set a unit to patrol on E, and it wouldn't. I was like, well, what? Lots of particle system additions and changes. I think they put lights on uh, power generators and stuff. That's another great ad. Units now have individual celestial travel speeds. They are no longer all using the exact same numbers for travel speed. Huh. Oh, great. Is that orbital units? Beam weapons dash instant hit exist as a weapon type now. They're only used by a few units 
currently the orbital laser, the flat cannon, and the sniper bot. Cool. Unit formation support. Still work in progress, but units now form up ranks and attempt to maintain consistent speeds to approach targets as a group. So now when you have those doggone slow flamethrower tanks in the front, your other units will stay with them instead of you having to try to micromanage that uh, attack. Which is great. Twitch support for in-game chat. Awesome. Subs have been pulled out for the time being. Subs... Oh yeah, submarines. Yeah, they, they'll get to naval when they get to naval. You know, the land is a bigger picture of the game. Let's get land done. Which is great. Orbital padding visualization can now be hidden in cinematic mode. Support for map ping. Aw, oh, map ping. League of Legends is a game with awesome map ping. That it just... Map ping is awesome. Attacking larger buildings should be more reliable now. Units can calculate and can calculate a valid firing solution based off the entire unit, OBB, rather than just the center point. Okay. Okay, great. New planet template type, desert. I guess uh, they just substitute an earth planet with just sand on it for a desert. Now they, they're actually importing the desert type. Weapon support for splash damage fall off, which means point blank on a weapon can have one damage value, but the splash, as you get further away from ground zero, can start to fall off. Ooh. That is sweet. Did we mention lots of balance changes in quite a few un units? Some fundamental UI changes. The U yeah, they're gonna strip and just totally remake the AI, uh, not AI, UI uh, user interface. Lots of other changes, blah, 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 this build notes, blah, 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 and let's, let's go check out the forms right now. I'll be right back, guys. This is so exciting. Ah! Details. This is the stuff that was... Detailed notes will be available in this thread, so... Which... Update your drivers, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you update your drivers again. Let's go back. So, headlights on structures. That is in, I'm pretty sure. New playable units, the T1 bomb bot. This is a bot that self-destructs itself. That's an, another new unit if you guys didn't know that. It's awesome, the transport. Again, I talked about that. Updated unplayable units and files. They got rid of the mega bot. They got rid of the fusion plant. Removed the torpedo bomber and removed the orbital gas mine. And updated units, air units. Bomber, the turn speed has been increased. The damage have been, has been increased. The splash damage has been increased. They just buffed the basic bomber, and I think it's... Basic bombers were pretty terrible. And T2 bombers, people hate. And balance in this game is still in its crawling stages. It'll get better, and I'll... This will be the end of the video. I'll try to find any other links that you guys might want to read about. And that about sums up this video. Guys, get on this game. Play the new update. It's our next new update. I'm super excited about this. Hope you guys are too. And I'll see you guys next time.